Hello, in this video we're going to look at the um, effect of using transactions and um, locks and um, we're going to do that by using a new schema uh, called trans and a table on it called transact. So we have this um, SQL file that will create the setup. We Date here, we have our table, it's set as the default here, we're using this one, this schema, and we have the table transact over here. Okay, so that's the initial point. What we're going to be doing is using these two connections to the server, to the same database, okay? So one is going to try to do something on the database, and then the second one will also try to access the same information and we will see how the second one will have to wait until the lock is released okay so we're gonna start inserting some values so start a transaction these values if we look at the table transact this is how it looks um, okay so we have entered these values for this particular user that is using this schema but if we go to the other connection for a different user and we look at what the values of transact are there's no values in there that is because we haven't commit um we haven't committed this transaction here okay so we need to um, execute a commit and just have it here as an extra and once we have that commit in here, we see no difference. But if we go to the other user and we update the values, we see how those values are now permanent and they are stored in the database. Okay, so you can see the effect of uh, executing a query and without committing it and after you commit it. Okay, next we're going to look at inserting some more values. Okay, we can again have a look at the values so that our new data has gone in. But in this case, instead of we know that if we go to a different user, a different connection, we're not going to see the new values that we added. We just saw that earlier. But now instead of commit, we're going to use rollback. And what's happening here is the two extra values we added are not there because that transaction wasn't committed. So we have seen the effect of committing uh, a transaction or rolling back. We're not going to see a deadlock. Um, so we're going to use this dat data lock uh, file one. Sorry, we're not looking at the deadlock yet. Yet We're looking at data locks. Um, so we're going to start the transaction. We're going to look at what we have. And then we're going to update a particular value, the one for the IT something. We're going to convert it into tudublin.com and that's where the ID was equal to 101. That was the place where that particular bit of data was. So we click in the update. Okay. And this is the updated table where we have changed that value there. Remember, this is not uh, committed. So if we go to a different user, they are not going to see the effect. Okay. Now, not only they're not going to see the effect of that uh, transaction, but also they're not going to be able to um, use that particular row. So with our second user, we can use this um, other file and we start a new transaction and we're trying to update the same row on our table transact or with ID 101. And on the notes um, column, we're going to type, we're trying to type university. So when we click on this transaction, this is what we're getting running. And it's running, it's trying to do the update, but it can't access that particular row because that row is been locked as a lock that was created by this transaction here. The moment we commit this transaction, this data is going to be permanent and also the lock will be released and the second user will be able to execute the particular query. So we can commit this transaction and when we go back to the other, um, okay, it took us too long. So here this error 
2013, lost connection to MySQL server during query. Um, that's been timed out. Let's try it again. So we go back to the um, data lock file one. We run this data lock. Then we go back and we try to run this one here. The first user is going to commit. And that will release the second user. And here you go. That has changed. And if we look at the values in transact now, this notes uh, university in there for the notes column has been updated. Once the first user left, um, release the lock for that particular uh, row. Okay, I hope that's making sense. See you in the next video.